Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film A Quiet Place 2, or Part 2. I've seen it advertised both ways. But A Quiet Place came out you know, a few years ago. Emily Blunt, John Krasinski, he directed it. It was, it was just an amazing film. I really got into it, the suspense, the claustrophobic atmosphere of a town who is suddenly overrun by aliens. I guess the whole world was, but this focused on one town. And they could be attracted by sound. And it just was very suspenseful. This movie suffers from sequelitis because it just doesn't have the suspense. It doesn't have the claustrophobia. It doesn't have the relationships that the first movie had. You never feel as scared for these people as you did to begin with. Uh, John Krasinski, Emily Blunt are both seen in this film. John Krasinski, her, their husband and wife team, he directed it. But in this film, the focus is on her and their two children. Uh, one, her son's played by Noah Jupe, and the daughter who is deaf uh, is portrayed by Millicent Simmons. Both kids are great. It's just the situations that they find themselves in. The aliens are still there. You get more of a close-up view of the aliens and what they're like and, and that type of thing. But there's there's also another person who enters the, the, the film, and he, he's portrayed by Cillian Murphy. He's just a person there in the town who is trying to, you know, go to safety like everybody is. Everybody is trying to find a safe haven. And when you have the relationships that you that you have, if those are great relationships, then you really get into the story. I'm a big Emily Blunt fan. I like her a lot. And she's great in this movie, but she's, gosh, the impact of that first film, I'm not going to give away everything that was in the first film. But if you're going to see, the, you know, this is one that really does require that you see both films together. Or you're not going to, you're just going to be thrust pretty much into the middle of the second film. I never understood at the end of the second film, basically, if the alien creatures, if they, if they are attracted by sound, can they see? Do they have any kind of visual that they locate people by. That was never made clean to, clear to me. I need detail. I need to know specifics. And I just didn't feel like in this film that I got those specifics. The film is rated PG-13 because there is profanity, there is violence. And in this film, you know, the children, uh, daughter and son, uh, and other children are in danger. And I never like to see children in danger. I could ha handle adults being in danger much better. I scored this film 5 out of 10, just average. And I didn't expect that. They're already talking about Quiet Place 3, so it's doing well financially. It's you know drawing people in now that the pandem pandemic is coming to an end. So I wish them well. I just hope that the third is better than the second. That's my wish. So. Five out of ten, but this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of A Quiet Place 2.